Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm working on grouting this hide for you, so I'm gonna talk about how I'm putting this together. I'm on the third coat now, so this project's just about finished. I just have to do a finishing coat that'll seal it up after I finish grouting. Um, so I'm just gonna talk about the tools that I'm using. I've got a paintbrush here, and I found that using a paintbrush with a really, really liquidy mix of grout is the best way to get this stuff on here. Um, so sometimes I try and use a thicker amount just to fill in some cracks or build up little chunks, but generally I do most of that with carving, so uh, just having something that I can paint on these pieces is uh, the best way to go. So I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit and uh, show you guys a little bit of what I've been doing. Okay, so firstly, I just got this little uh, cavity that a moist hide will be going into that hasn't uh, gotten any grout on it just yet. So I figured I'd just show you guys that I can paint this stuff on. It goes on real thin, and this isn't going to have to uh, stand up to geckos or anything like that. Really, I could leave it bare, but I, just in case any bugs escape, I definitely, I, I just want to fill the whole thing up. And uh, then that way, maybe they'll be less inclined to eat into the styrofoam, which insects can do. Uh, that'll be another reason why you want to seal this thing up at the end with a uh, nice sealant. So now next thing that I want to look for is cracks like this. They are easy to miss sometimes, so you just want to make sure you come back around and get a bit of a thick, thicker uh, mix in there so that it fills up. And then the uh, next coat that you do on top of this and tends to uh, fill it in a little stronger. So I just go around looking for those spots and just keep on painting it on. And as the, uh, as the brush runs out, it's easy to tell that you're just kind of wetting everything down then, and then you just load up a little bit. I like to stir my, uh, I just take my uh, brush and stir it around to make sure that all the grout is mixed nicely every time I uh, use it. That's another thing you want to do, because a lot of the grout will settle to the bottom, so you want to think about that all the time. But I just go around all these gaps and make sure I color them in. The, the bright color of the styrofoam is kind of nice. You, it's easy to tell when you haven't filled a spot in yet. So I'm just going to keep on working on this, and uh, hopefully the finished project will look really good. I'll uh, show you guys once I've finished coating all these pieces here. 